For embedded video to work with InDesign and N5, it must be saved as an MP4 file with H.264 encoding. And you should pay special attention to file size, since video files can be very large. If you're unfamiliar with working with video and video file formats, here's an easy primer using Adobe Photoshop, along with a free utility, to optimize your video files and save them in the proper format. Run Photoshop and choose File Open. This is a video in QuickTime format. Photoshop can open video files in most of the popular video formats. I'll show you how to save this MOV file out as an MP4 file with the correct specs. We can see in Photoshop that this video is an HD 1080p format. A 1080p video is 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high. This is more resolution than needed for use in many digital documents. So let's say that we have a digital layout where we need the video to be square and 800 pixels wide and 800 pixels high. Select the Crop tool and select Width by Height by Resolution. Then enter 800 pixels for both the width and the height, select the area you wish to crop, and then click here to commit to the crop. Now we can see down here that the video is exactly 800 pixels square. So you can see cropping video to size is exactly like cropping a still image in Photoshop. Next, choose File, Export, Render Video. Choose a file name and location for the exported video. Choose Adobe Media Encoder and High Quality for the preset. Then click the Render button. I like to export MP4 files out of Photoshop using the High Quality preset and then do my final compression using a free utility called Handbrake, which gives you smaller file sizes than Adobe Media Encoder. You can download Handbrake for Mac OS or Windows at handbrake.fr. Then run Handbrake and click Open Source. Select the MP4 file you just exported from Photoshop and click Open. Select the Fast 1080p30 preset here, and then choose a destination down here at the bottom. Then you might have to do one other thing, because Handbrake looks for letterboxing on the video, and if it finds it, it crops the letterboxing off. But sometimes it's confused by a black background on the video. So click the Dimensions tab here, and we can see here that it is cropping the video in this case. So select Custom and change the crop to 0. Then change Anamorphic to Off. Now you should see that the video is going to stay at 800 pixels by 800 pixels, just as we intend. So now you can click Start. That's all there is to it. Looking at the final files, in my case, the exported MP4 file from Photoshop was 13.8 megabytes, while the compressed file from Handbrake is 3.6 megabytes and it still looks great. Now you've got a small, compact, 800 pixel square video file ready to place into an InDesign layout. Taking a few minutes to crop, downsample, and compress your video files will pay off big in the user experience of your final document, resulting in fast downloads and smooth playback. Be sure to check out In5 at in5.us, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.